All right, so long story short, I hope it's not too long a story, but next to this bigger tree here, these natural fences, the trees next to it died or they were dying. So last summer we put in this watering a soaker hose that seemed to help so Costco had a sale on these trees so instead of buying one or two we bought a whole oh, a whole pallet so I replaced this tree there were two here but I tried to keep them away from this larger tree in case this tree was sucking up all the energy or whatever so I put in this tree recently replaced it and then I replaced this tree again to not have it be so close to the bigger one. And just in case those did come back to life and not waste the money, I put the other ones way back there. If you can see in the distance there. Yeah, back there. And I placed a few others uh, too. So this is in the back of my house. But as I mentioned, we better hold pallet or just it's under. So. <clears throat> didn't know where to put the other ones so talking to my my landlord about this or my dad and talking about having a natural fence in front next to the road so I put in the bulk of them in the front here well as you may know or what I'm what I'm researching here is these trees need a lot of water um, so they don't uh, get wet. Especially if you still, if you use bark at the at the base, um, bark, the bark will hold in the moisture, but still they need to be watered. Well, I'm not going to waste all that money on, on the water bill and the time to spend to remember, oh, I need to water these, these trees. I'm not much of a landscaper myself, even though I've done it since I was 10. So, trying to figure out how to put in uh, rain barrels. So, my local, my county has a conservation office and they sell these rain barrels. So, they're 55 gallon drum equipped with a setup to create rain barrels. Well, I bought two already set up. I think they're about like 50 bucks each. And then I put I put two together and devised a way to connect them to the trees. So, as you may notice, I bought a soaker hose for these trees. And I was hoping it's putting these rain barrels up off the ground enough that there'll be enough gravitational pressure or whatever to flow this naturally down this PVC pipe. So I put the pipe together yesterday before I had a hose, and the hose I figured was not exactly straight, narrow, clean enough to shoot this water fast enough to get through the soaker hose and all the, all the, all the trees. So I spent the last few weekends, um, two hours a day or whatever, to connect to first build this platform, it's not pretty. Hopefully, it should work because this is at a slope right here, as you can probably tell. But this this stand out of a former pallets um, and concrete pads that I had lying around and some rebar that I cut. Um, so, and I hooked up two barrels because I was thinking maybe. One barrel is not enough pressure to feed this, these trees. So hooked up two two barrels together. Um, connection here with on and off switch. Connection here, and then they connect here. This is just to hold up, so this doesn't fall down. And then the elbow, elbow and out. And then then the downspout. Took the downspout yesterday. Hooked up this. Um, I don't know what you would call it, like downspout arm that you could direct anywhere. And I'm not tall enough here, but it feeds into the very top of the barrel. And then I use a nylon stocking 
to kind of plug the hole and then so the downspout connects to this barrel and then this tube here is that when this barrel is full the, the excess water will flow into this tube this tube type pipe into this barrel so in theory I would have 110 gallons here and then when this barrel is full then this overflow will come out and I can hook a hose out and down to for the garden or wherever else or so it doesn't overflow so I'm hoping that this works right now it's raining because we're in the Seattle area right now on Easter morning and so there's a small trickle coming into the first barrel here and I'm hoping that once these two bad boys get get full that this will work. I haven't glued any of these pieces together. What I'm thinking is, is to somehow bury this PVC pipe in the ground so I can still mow and walk and not trip over it. And then if there's not enough pressure going from the hoses to the trees, I'm thinking about scrapping the soaker hose putting a T at the end of this PVC pipe because right now it's connected to the soaker hose you see connected to the soaker hose um, I'm thinking about just putting a T at the end of the PVC pipe here and then running a perpendicular PVC pipe with caps on the ends along this route and then taking my, my drill gun and drilling a small hole at each tree and then once, once the barrels are full, and I turn on both those spigots, the on switch, that will just be on, and then the water will come shooting down the, the pipe, and then slowly but surely, to soak. Um, I don't know. So I'll keep you. Hopefully, this is a series of my my, my tribulations of this water rain barrel, so we'll see how those goes. So, uh, stay tuned. Thank you.